let's get it underway. The International Five Grand Final. It will be Evil Geniuses going up against C Deck Gaming. And as a result, he'll probably just be cogging his, his creeps as best as possible closer to his tier two tower while they're still slow. It's pretty easy to, uh, to get at least three of them into the cog, and he should still have an okay start. It's not. Yeah, especially if he does that one. <laughs> that's uh, that's well, extra good. You try and stop Universe, then Universe just stops the wave. But at least Aggressive is going to be able to still find his good farm. The creep wave has been well blocked up by Universe. If he blocks this up anymore, he's going to be farming up underneath his own tier 1 tower. And the Wyvern's going to be here too to slow the creep wave down. He's practically in range of his tier 1 tower. Safest clockwork ever. Uh, but we have to keep our eyes on the other lanes as well. Top bounty rune. He might just rotate in to try and zone some mail a little bit, but needs to be careful. PPD is already, as they know, some mail needs to get out yeah, of here. He He's slowed down the stun. It's not going to connect, but some mail still so low on life. It's going to be first blood going the way of C deck. That's the start they want. That's the rotation they want, and that's the balance. He should have a pretty good feeling that he's out farming his opponent. He'll just know. We're going again on mid. Third time lucky again for C Deck. They're gonna charge into Samel. Still no level six under the tower. There's just no support to come in. Shiki was low, but there's not enough damage for revenge kill. And um, that's now 0 3 on Samel. But I look back to the all oh, clockwork. The Queen of Pain thought he was safe, but Universe with a level 3 Rocket Flare from the bot lane picks him off on the way back. They've only got another 3 seconds left of this smoke before it's going to wear off. And in fact, the smoke is going to break because Fear is sitting in the tree line. So, uh, no joy for it, but they're still going to charge in. And what can Fear really do? He can do a call down. Owie, the Sonic Wave doesn't kill him. Sealed up over the Queen of Pain, but it's got to be mopped up by Fear. Looking for another one. No blink. Six seconds of peep and he will hold him here. EG take two kills. And then Z, he's trapped in the tree line. He wants to charge out. Do they have a stun? Hookshot from Universe. It's up and running. And he latches him in the tree line. The seal is there. And XZ will die in the tree. It's three for nothing. The smoke game took so long from C deck. They tried to force the issue, and it was shoved Radiant's back down their throats by EG. EG just read that perfectly. Tower. Universe is prepped on the hillside. He wants just to hook shot down the Spirit Breaker, allowing some male to jump himself across the river, and there's your hook shot down, and the Cogs are gonna push him back. Not the perfect initiation. Now they can try and turn around, but the Blue Earth misses. You do commit the Nether Strike, and Universe trying to get out with the Mystic Flare. The Sonic Wave will at least kill off the Clockwork. And EG needs to back out, then again, c -Neck does. Some male back in, a huge call down from Fear. They're gonna take one, gonna take two, and double for the Gyro. And now they can add pressure towards the Tier 1 tower. Actually, maybe not that much. I'll have to back up, Owie's injured. Either that or he feels he can go it alone. No, he's not alone. Fear waiting on the hillside. Now he's going to come down. Aggressive goes into the doppelganger. But the call down, nice done. But they're in the middle of the call down. No, where see they going to be? They're going to take two again. This time it's over on Owie. The support is important. And there goes that observer, what I was talking about. The PPD will mop up with the help of the Satter. And c are waiting for him. The SB actually is going to charge in some mail. Ball lightning's away. And now it can be PPD with a frostbite trying to catch him out of position. The Orchid is up for some mail so early. It's going to guarantee a kill on the Spirit Breaker. And they might look for more here. That regeneration rune has been triggered by some mail in Universe. The hook shot in, catching out Garda. The call down will be there too. They cannot help the pony. You'll lose with the Wyvern as well. It's three for nothing. EG are rampaging through game number one of the TI5. Grand final middle lane. Time. You actually got the CM multi going down to blink out from Shiki. They'll be able to survive. Universe initiated him with that hook shot. And now they're trying to finally get the towel, but aggressive. Sealed up the mystic flare burning through the PL. One chance can't keep him alive. Not when the call down connects. Sonic Wave will not do enough. So Mouse back to the fight, but not enough mana. But then again, when Winter Wyvern locks in control, they find the pick off on him. Moving to the next target down to Gata. He is just getting golden rocketed down by EG. So that's his next target. The track. That's not a healthy place to be. Universe fighting him in the jungle at the same time. TL may not let this go unpunished. Universe wants to run away, but it's not going to happen until Storm. Samal's in. He gets the Orchid on the PL. It looks like an instant kill for Universe, and now it's going to be a double kill for Samal. Three down in the jungle, and EG once again. They bring in the cavalry. Perfect turnaround. Universe is just too tanky. It takes Samel's a really going long time again. Mid jump this time. Orchid on Orchid. They will have that curse and a slow down Samel. Can he jump away? No, he'll pop. That is a huge kill for a Queen of Pain.
a it's a difficult question to answer because BKB definitely has oh, a way to say. Long jump up, found two. Sans is a spirit breaker, so we can kill off one. In comes Universe, cancelling the TB out. It's a two for. What a valuable ward I placed earlier. He's got Radiant regeneration, he's got immunity, he's and the SMY. Is everything a good Chiro needs? Yeah, this might be the game-winning push. If EG take a Radiant good fight here, how many buybacks do CDC even have? They have none. Nothing up, nothing above, and in they come! The hawk shot, they catch out the Spirit Breaker, the cold out to the perfect position. Fear turning on the flat cannon, so much spell damage to Mal once more, and he's gonna find more! There goes your Winter Wyvern, your PL, heavily injured. All they can do is just sit back at well and heal up while they lose. They lose their buildings on the bottom lane, the tier 3 tower is gone. The melee racks will join it, and what can Cedek even do to stop this? With no other tier 2 towers out in the map, EG can just move from one lane to another inside the base and Samael doesn't want to even stop he jumps forward looking for a reaction out of Cedar can't get one though it's a very tempting thing to actually go for this they're gonna charge in Samael being pushed back and awkward off they're gonna turn around but now Universe looks on in Samael almost dead he is dead where's your buyback here she comes the team being the team one towers two heroes down already this could be it the money will let EG win this fight they kind of want it anyway with the amount of damage the Fear has Storm. Jumping all the way back up again, they find Aggressive. <laughs> Queen of Pain the only one up. It fell at the last hope, and it was. EG will take game one in the TI5 Grand Final from what looked like an unstoppable CDEC. They just got counterplayed really hard in this game. Usually the smoke ganks work out in the early game and they find the key kills they used to snowball the game, but in this case, EG read the map very well. They take a lot of initiative themselves with the storm as well as the clockwork. Very well executed game by them. Terrific Dota from Evil Genius as Cedek will have a moment to think about what has just happened here. Wind Ranger at your service. Oh, there we go. That's a male Ranger. Yes. Sorry, yes. Gotta be careful. The cogs. He's actually locked in here. The shard block is passed out, and Universe Brain. will be the first blood going the way of Cedek. There's How long has AUI been here? Uh, the last two to three minutes, and now PPD being slowed up. PPD turns for just one Frost Nova. He can't do anything about it. EG uh, lose one. The rocket damage actually quite heavy until a track. But meanwhile, you're snowballing up to Samel. He's wind running up, and now the cold out from here with a rocket barrage. Black cannon. Look at the shackle on Garda. He can't ensure the last hit of damage. To try and bring down Zamel, the extra support, the Sonic Wave comes in from Aggressive. They now know Zamel is in the bottom lane, so they could have a really good opening here on Universe in mid. And if they do manage to catch him out, they should be able to claim the tower for Brood as well, which is a huge impact on the game. It's going to allow him oh, to he is already open here. up They're going to go on Universe, but the cooldown's going to come in. Universe, with a rock of a rod, he's going to stay alive here. Support was about even hookshotting himself back over to AUI. They see him, they see the brood mother cursing directly away and the spidlings turn on their mother as the clockwork jumps in but there's so many spiders in and the battery is also doing the work up against the brood mother. The hunger is just insatiable from XZ. The universe being cold and braced up, brood mother still running away but they've lost the vision now and in comes Shiki with the lightning bouncing around universe as well as AUI but with a shackle, the track is controlled. There's nowhere near enough damage to find any kind of revert to revenge kill on EG is here with a sonic wave. A little bit of trouble, the familiar stuns as well as the spiders. Find the kill, but PPD letting it go right now until the snowball comes in from CDEC. They need more. Universe is on the run. The Cogs are going to push back the rest of CDEC, flying space for Samael until Aggressive comes in with a scream. The Familiars will do the work in Q. We'll find a pickup on Universe. Key hero wants you to get points up in Gravekeeper's Cloak, so you're very likely to be able to get the mech off. Samael got to get himself away from this. He just broke the five man smoke that was there from CDEC. Observe what is watching Universe pretty closely, but as PPD is the man who's in trouble until Universe hook shots himself. In going up the guard of a PPD already down for the count, dying on the track. While Universe, the shards will block him in. Now, Snowball off from Familiars are coming in. They do have their stuns available, might need a little bit more damage as now. There's Samael, can't get the shackle. He was close, they just went for the ulti over on the Tusker. As now EG trying to back out this one. Samael, as well as AUI, the only ones alive, and now he's gonna get awkward and stopped up. That's a very, very dead Samael, but the curse, it actually holds Queen Pain back with a blink hit. Only stalled up, not controlled completely, and EG losing four heroes very, very quickly. Now they, they could push for a tier two tower.
Like you still got the double damage for it. And in fact, yep, there goes your win run. They're going to try and burn through the tower while a bottom lane. You got the push coming in. And in fact, the hook shot down from Universe. Catching an XC. Reveals him off with the dust. AUI still has the curse. So Brewbuff is not going to go anywhere. And with a call down as well. And EG will find the kill. Meanwhile, on top, Samel all cut up and in real trouble. But the Aegis, the Immortal PPD waiting in the wings. But what really can he do apart from watch him die? Is there a blink and wait? And yes! Samael gets away, aggressive, shackled up, he's going for more PPD, he can't let Ashley lend any more help, Samael will die, the blink forward, PPD will be able to escape. But they, they need something, because every time they don't do it, C-Deck holds an advantage, they're coming down now, a smoke movement with the hook shot, they catch out the Broodmother once again, again that Blade Mail as well, not helping out the Broodmother, more TP supports coming in from C-Deck, and the cooldown already used from Fear, the Familiars flying right over the top, not getting the stuns, but aggressive, a blink in two seconds, he'll be chasing up after Universe, Cogs might better keep them out for now, and in fact both Familiars don't stun anything, and uh, hey UI, where's the shackle, BKB from aggressive, he'll dodge it in Universe, dying so quickly, with the power shots for Fear, on the front lines with the Rocket Barrage and the help from Samal, they find the kill. The gem's also over on the deck, and they'll try and hold him here aggressive. Frostbit and PPD, we're going in right now. The freezing field drops, but he will be stunned up and controlled. But Shiki, no, he'll have to deny himself. They're not having a great fight here. See the EG again in the upper hand. They're chasing up after Garda. He'll drop as well. Queen of Pain able to escape, running away with that gem of truth side of C deck away from spawn. So it's a quick Roshan, and the reason why it's even better is Samal still is holding on to this double damage rune. So he's got this during the next fight. In fact, EG, they're moving forward at the moment. The Hawk shot in from Universe. He's caught two inside the Cogs and forces himself back out again. The Shazo though, is a real lock in position. Universe, he just gets exploded, but at the same time, Samal trying to bring down Garda. There's a little bit of help. PPD, the Freezing Field's not doing enough work. In fact, he's dying to Familiars, and he will, in fact, go down. They're going in deeper for Samal. Locked in and controlled EG. They're gonna lose four. Fear trying to change it around as much as he can, but now they're gonna lose five. EG went in too deep. AUI blinking himself away to safety, but not far enough. He'll glimmer cape into the pit, but they lose everything. Aggressive with a triple kill. C deck will also grab Roshan and cement their control of this game. It was starting to swing away from them. It was a 5k advantage in net worth going the way of C deck, but look at the curve. When these, when these familiars are done. Well, then again, hook shot. Universe, he's found the broom up. The BKB's has be done. And Universe just four stars himself away. And Shiki, he's moved up even further. Looking for Samal. Samal's going to get perfectly stunned. And brought down by the Pulse Nova. Hit him with the call down. He might have enough damage. No, he does not. EG lose three. This is spiraling completely out of control. For evil geniuses and perfectly in the position for C-Day. AUI locked on the other side of the trees. He's dead to the world. The only one left up is Universe. But this is the time when CDEC could just push and try and take a Rax. Shiki already TP'd himself up to the top lane. They're looking for more than just one. I think Universe in that situation didn't realize XC picked up the BKB. As I mentioned earlier, I think it's the right choice to go for it and did it after the plate mail. The moment that BKB was popped, the EG were in a lot of trouble. They didn't have the counterplay to the Brood. They just put their clockwork into a horrible position. And it looks very likely right now that the series will be tied up. Jump in by Aggressive at the same time. They're going to snowball after AUI. He's down for the count. Universe having this one-on-one -on -one battle with a Broodmother. A battle which he will lose a four-star away. He had to bail out of this one. Live to fight another day. He has already expected his call down to try and stop this push on the top lane, but he'll have to come in with Flat Cannon as well, PPD. That Grieve's already been triggered by C Deck. They're happy to find this in Universe so low when he charged in the Blade Melt, not protecting him almost to 50 life, but Samael's the main man who's in trouble. They've lost everything. EG, good game. We will have a guaranteed fourth game as C-Deck level the series 1-1. That bridge by the last pick really caught them off guard. I think both teams played a really, really good game here. Yes, it is time to get underway for game number three. Evil Geniuses up against C-Deck Gaming. That's the reason why he backed up. Universe getting very up, close on yeah. the top lane. There's a Cogs gonna drag in the slot. Now he's looking for that pounce while PPD removing a lot of his life. He pounces up and away. The rocket's little babble here from Universe. He'll get vision back on this slot again. And you got Decay in just a moment. In fact, it's back off cooldown again. But with the support coming in from Shiki, they have to back up with some mail. It's a trip spirit down to the facade. Evil Genius is finally, they'll be the ones to spill the first blood. Just look at how fast the teams are reacting to He's still gonna give it a shot. Made. 
That's, that's not enough. It's, no, it's actually short as well. Middle lane, Samal jumping in again. Can't get the Syrian chains. We'll start on the call out from Fear. Trying to find more space. Samal couldn't do any more extra damage, but it might open up enough for Fear to get this kill on Gardner's Universe. Actually, Cold forced himself down, and this will be a kill for Fear, but Universe trapped underneath the tier one tower. The kill will come in for Versace with a lightning damage as well from Latrak. EG severely punished as again C Deck bring in reinforcements, and again we're going now on top. Which is PPD getting just attacked by aggressive a little bit. This is what does happen sometimes from EG. So He's moving over towards PPD as well as Universe, actually going through the tree line to try and break the smoke while in middle lane is Q and Garda coming in. They're looking for the kill on Samel. The spirit is up, but Samel won't have enough life to survive this. Support's coming in from Universe towards PPD. They throw down the tombstone and fear it needs to be a big call down, and it will be a catch out too. And he flank out of damage as well. Universe dropping very, very quickly with the lighting and the familiar drops. It's a Kill for the Latrak, then looking for more. PPD removing a little bit of the life and supports arrived in here. It's aggressive, going on fear. It's a triple kill for the Latrak, and PPD on the run. No stuns for the Familiars, but they got some decent damage. Surging in the slug. He does not pounce the bubble, but there's that Iron Shell combo with the Death Bar packed. There's a kill for the Slark, and CDAC. Momentum is coming their way again. A sharp spike to the Golden Experience graphs. They just knew what was happening. They got the top tier one for free. EG were trying to trade for bottom, but they weren't fast enough, so Fear left it. Now PPD puts his own Observer Ward down, so both teams having good vision over this bot lane. And Universe hook shots in. He's able to lock in aggressive. That Blade Mount not even helping him at all. Universe just evaporates. To the CDEC damage and aggressive coming in more. Blinks forward, gets a leech over on Fear. They need more damage. The tombs are trying to help out the finger. Not enough to kill our Fear. Gun is so low. The mech keeping him up until the sun comes in. Actually, he's undying. Getting the last bit of damage in concussive shot will slow down the Versace and Samal going in very deep. A double searing chain moving around. It's EG. Samal picking up a double kill. They move in deeper as well. Q's on the run out here. The slide of fist. They're getting rid of at least one of the familiars. And the TP out from the Versace will be successful. There's no more stuns here for EG to use. And that looked like that was. That looked like it was going to be a really bad fight for EG when they lost the clockwork for pretty much nothing, but it just seems like whatever team is engaging into the other gets punished really quickly. CDEC with a follow-up engage from the Slark weren't really able to follow through as Samael with a perfect timing on the Battle Fury. If he didn't have it for... He had it like 30 seconds before that fight broke out. If he wouldn't have had that, that could have looked really bad for EG, but a lot of spread damage being done. Samael is putting some pressure. There's another sentry being placed. Yeah, it got scattered out by the Visage, though. He pinged it. Straight away, they can get rid of this, and then the jump in, they find Samel out of position, Tombstone, Solrim, Samel needs more time, they're back into the wall! PPD going to go down! Fear trying to do as much damage as he can with the Hawkshot from Universe! There's a little bit more control time here, but CDC, they're just so tanky, Versage will at least pop inside the cogs, and that's the gem on the ground! They can move forward and grab it for themselves as Samael, he comes lying again for the stuns, trying to combine it with the Familiars. Shiki, real trouble for him, Yule set the up, but Gara cannot help him out, but he's got more help. Aggressive back to the front line, but Fear pushing in after Aggressive. They split up the fight, besides took out the Ember Spinner over with their Spirits Aggressive. He'll still go down. They're mopping up the Familiars, the last attack in from Maui will take care of it. And this is why Samael got a Scotty. If he did not have a tank item there, he would have been blown up and that fight would have gone horribly. And they're going to smoke up and see if they can force the issue a little bit more. Yeah, they want to take advantage. Forever. They're going to come right on the side of Aggressive Universe. Actually hugging the side so he knows there's someone... Well, actually, he doesn't know if he's on the right or the left. And Universe actually not visible at all to see the EC, but they caught a glimpse. And so the Darks here and then farming up that camp, you could hook shot yourself into that. But the rest of EG will have, have a hard time following him in. There's multiple key items coming out on CDC, by the way. They just got a Force Staff on the Lion. They got a BKB on the Dark Seer. And they got... Oh, it's got oh, oh, him! Mid pounce! Aggressive real trouble! With a rocket also coming in. Homing Missile's gonna connect. He can't break free of the stun. The cooldown will come with a decay. He's able to at least pounce himself away to safety. But they go for more! The side fist here in chain catching on XE and Aggressive. He's still running himself away inside the shadow. It's the back into a four-man wall. EG will still try to trigger one of their BKBs and Shiki is isolated on the backside. Try to TP out of the comfort of a BKB. He'll be successful. In fact, a finger of death ensures the kill on Universe with the spirit jump up. Samel also wants to find his target. Gata back into the lane, aggressive. 
waiting it out. He's regenerating up and ready to come in. Fear this isn't the path to freedom right now. He's going to get locked in. Aggressive. Where's your damage? It's all there. He's stealing the essence of fear out of him. The Aegis C model will trigger, but Samal's still here, but the Familiar's coming in. The Suns are back off cooldown, so they can keep fear locked. They go back in again. The Mystic Flare trying to buy some space with the back back in. Garner, he's burning right now. The shield of Samal. While the battle's still going on the back lines, fear needs more help. Can't find it, though. He's going to pop. They might get these steering chains, but Samal will hit the deck. Start fisting around. They need to bring him down. They're going to. Slowing him down, and it will be enough. The fight goes the way of CDEC. PPD was trying to come back to help, but it was all too late. And what a fight. Huge advantage, and now they can force down the mid lane for the tier 2 tower. And he stays calm here under pressure for EG. And CDEC are looking to advance again. They have BKB on Oh, down. that's a jump from Aggressive. Rounds up a Fear goes for the Instant Bash as well. The cooldown's coming in. Fear being forced off the way. They're trying to make him run, and actually they force up up on the outside of the cogs. Shiggy was trying to come in from the other side of the fight, but now they use the Mystic Flare. Well, actually, on absolutely nothing. It just keeps uh, CDEC off the ramp up into the secret shop. Yeah, Flare is gone. The Tombstone is gone. Actually, it's spawning zombies that get stuck because of the familiars. <laughs> Someone need a tango. He doesn't really want to try and fight this one. Man, why wouldn't you want to push that? Like, you've got insurance over on the Ember Spirit having this cheese available. Absolutely, take the tier two. Right? Yeah. I think they go bottom as well. Or maybe even top and try to get both towers there. Uh, maybe even look for a fight as Fear's in trouble. He'll let the call down go, but there's your Abyssal Blade. It's still not going to stop Fear from pumping in a little bit more of this damage. They need the BKB to wear off so they can force up him down the cliff face, but it's not going to happen. Aggressive just keeps fighting, and Garner, they've actually isolated him with a double tunnel. Samal as well as PPD. XE's keeping him out. The Agency model is triggered right now, but Samal, side of Fitz, he needs more units to actually get the bounce off. Fear, dying to Familiar's aggressive. They need more help. Mystic Flash coming in from AUI. Aggressive still alive until the orb is chasing him up. He should be able to buy this with a blink away. He's buying time to regenerate. While PPD battling up against the rest of the Familiar's. Oh, the sun God, comes down. Live. The Glimmer Cape will keep him alive. AUI will regather gem now. They can't get rid of these Familiar's. And Samael, well, he doesn't really want to fight either. He does have the cheese available, but they burned the Aegis and they lost the Gyro. We're going to get a resummon of the Familiars as well from Q, so they're actually ready to fight. I think he had one of them dead, so... One or two. They're actually going to give... No, oh, are they giving this away? It looks like it. Oh, and again, a whole no. shot down. They're going to find Shiki. He'll BKB, but is there enough damage to get the kill? Samael can't reach him. He tried to slide a fist in, but the Cogs actually kept him out. So CDEC, they know that hook shot's going to be on cooldown for another 23 seconds. Familiar's preparing to come in from the side. Fear, remember he's got that BKB. And samoa has got that Lincoln Spear up and running. So the initial attack won't be as easy. And the fact side of Fist trying to keep him back. In comes aggressive, triggers the BKB. PPD already with the tombstone down. They may not have enough of an opening. In fact, maybe they will. They found aggressive locked inside the cogs while over on the side. Fear is keeping the passage out and in the back. Trying to go for the wall. They get it perfectly. With Shiggy pulsed over, they need more damage. Samael gets a side of Fist off. He's so low on life, but now a little bit more. They can't even get him out. There's more damage coming in with Ultrak. So low on life. Aggressive turns on the fight. Going on Fear. The stuns are there. PPD back to front line. Trying to remove that life away from the slug. And they keep going. The seal is on him. He can't pass. They lock him inside the cars. Aggressive is down. Huge kill. Shiki no longer hiding in the trees. It's not safe there. The line is back to base, and so is XC. A huge fight for EG. An invitation to force buybacks here from CDC if they can that, push into the tier threes. That cheese on fear. Perfect timing using that. And CDC will have to buy back one, if not even two heroes, if they want to hold this lane. They're buying Shiki back for now. They don't want to have the slark though. And Shiki already getting concussive shot at XZ. The back will come. They look for the sun and only connects over on Fear while Universe pushing aggressive back. The cops are keeping him out while the side of Fist goes again from Samal. Defensive spirit jump and they're all trying to TP out. They got their double buybacks. That's what they're looking for. And aggressive. Abyssal Blade is still available. Blink Dagger off cooldown. And in fact, Samal up in the air with the ult. Blink is feeling trigger but Samal. He's going to go down. CDEC, they get something back for their buybacks. In the meantime, the middle lane, there's no tier three tower here. The Kree Ray pushed in, but not where they really want to. They need to get up. Aggressive is starting to run away from his team. Oh, he could lose the side. Catch. The courier's coming in with the rest of the side. It's so close to the strike. They missed the hook shot in. They need that courier dead right now. It's on the run out. 
And actually, he doesn't even want to turn to pick up the scythe. Now he'll turn around. Okay, that's just free gold that they're not taking. But they move up. There's your Siri change over on the track. BKBs from both as aggressive also jumps in. Looking for the BK, the uh, Bissel by Trigger and Universe. Hawk shots up, pushes the slag back. There's no BKB, but Shadow Dance is available. The Tombstone will split this fight up. If CDC want to come in through the rear, but now they're running over to the dire side of the jungle. Chasing in, Zamal right behind him has a blink dagger off cooldown. Another hook shot gonna go to work. They find their opening. It's a lion down. Q also being slowed down by that concussive shot. Locked inside the cops in the middle of the river. He needs a path to freedom. It just doesn't exist. It's Samal. He even goes in deeper on the back of Chicky. The sun will be available. They back him back in. There's still the defensive spirits available. Side of Fist. And maybe there is enough damage aggressive. Siri chained up. They need the damage. Fast stuff away. Aggressive goes back to them. He's in huge trouble, trying to run himself out of the cops. Four stop now to him. And this is real trouble right now for CDC. Shiki dead in the tree line as well. There are no buybacks available. Lion, the sole survivor. The only thing that is stopping this game right now is a creepway pushing the tier four tower up the tier three tower in the bottom lane. But that's no real problem. The spirit jump back out. And EG, they are coming for the mid lane. They should be able to at least mega <laughs> right now. They have a full minute on three cores on the enemy team. And what's really important about that fight for EG is the way they initiate and the way they flank. They move in from two different directions. Darkseer is never able to really find the vacuum wall. At the, as a matter of fact, he probably holds the wall too long there and ends up getting a, a pretty mediocre one when the fight is over. Lion never gets a spell off, gets killed They're going too for the early. GG push. They're actually just going straight for the GG push. They want Zeta to admit defeat and they get it. But EG hit back in a terrific display from both C Deck as well as EG. Wonderful donor all round. Evil geniuses leading by two games to one against China's CDEC in the grand final of the International 2015. They're going to loop themselves into the middle at the same time EG had exactly the same thought. It's going to be smoke on smoke. The smoke will break and Fear's going to have that call down. The Fissure going to keep Dragon Eye out with the Rock of Mirage. The hookshot's coming in for Samael. We'll take the first one. Isolated XC inside of his own cogs and Samael jumps over him again. The mage, the whole clockwork in position of Fear. The Rock of Mirage doing some work with the instead. Guy wants to TP out. They don't have damage to kill both of them. Our Shaker commits the Echo Slam to ensure the kill. So we had an instantly blink, stun, guard it, needs his last strike ready to connect, and they'll use the curse with Laguna Blade to mail! Oh. Almost able to jump, the animation was stopped for Universe right in the back of Garda. You've got the call out as well, this will instantly kill off the Lina. But now the Hawk shot as well, XE's looking for a good line, and he completely walks it off to the side! Universe will get the stun, but the DK's doing a lot more work, especially when the Splinter arrives in from Q. A CDC is not in a bad position for this. They're just around the corner, including Hookshot. So Garda, as well as Shiki, they're not liking where they are. And actually, Shiki just leaves Garda for dead. He blinks himself away to safety. He's thinking about turning his Garda with a Hookshot in. He gets Laguna Blade over on Samael. And Samael, he's practically out of mana. The Ice Watch, however, coming in on top of the Dragon Knight with the Echo Slam control. It should be enough. Samael, the curse is on him. Universe actually turn around, try and kill off his own teammate. Is Universe actually going to get a double kill? He's going to kill his teammate for Clockwork. The Embrace is there, the Fissure Control, a triple kill for Universe. But now we see Aggressive coming online. The Phantom Lancer, insanely difficult to deal with. He's going to double gagger himself in to find PPD. He'll pick up the kill and it'll be a two for three trade off. See the EC by surprise. They throw out more Lancers, just keeping vision on fear. They jump in. There's your curse to mount. Going in deep over on Y, but he's already used his ability. But here comes your call down. Dragon like over the extra stun, the keeping Universe out. No Echo Slam for him back. He's actually going to push it back out with the cops. Universe will drop. And maybe even one after. It's going to be a double kill for Samal. The Song of the Siren allowing EG to reset Samal. Not with a great amount of mana. But bought time for the Orca to come back off cooldown. They can control the clockwork. He will take a fall. But Aggressive is on the run. But in order to do so, he's got to drop either his TP scroll or sell the Ring of Aquila. And some mail. Blink. Dragon Tail stun. God is going to be here with the hookshot as well. Laguna Blade. Some mail. The Cold Swarm. The Colts burn bought them a little bit of extra time. And with some mail down and no buyback, Roshan is a very, very juicy target here for CDEC. Yeah, EG are going to know they're going for it, though. First of all, it would be pretty obvious from the lane situation, but they also have a good ward around the river area to see. CDEC are moving in there now. 
I don't think EG are interested in contesting this 4 on 5, but maybe they can delay it long enough for it to be a 5 on 5 if they Ice Blast and Fissure properly. There is uh, no hook shot. They're all together. PPD, here comes the Ice Blast, ready for the dive! Here from the universe, it's a disaster! CDC, they're gonna get wiped from the face of the earth, apart from aggressive, he'll jump out, but the logo combo perfectly hits from Evil Geniuses, and now they will take Roshan. Samal is back, they'll get the Aegis of the Immortal. Yeah, they don't even need to buy time. When they have superior vision and CDC have no idea it's coming, Universe was so convinced that they're so sure they're in there because of the vision showing them moving down in that direction that he just blindly blink Echo Slams, knowing that he should... Oh, actually, not blindly. They already put down an Ice Vortex first, actually, so they did know for sure they were there. But even without the Ice Vortex, I think he still would have gone for it. Five men smoked by CDEC. Now look for the opening on EG. Now Samael's not in the perfect position for this. He is going to see an Invis already, potentially going to jump down and grab it. And now they can curse him up. Look at Spear, though. It triggers. That wasn't the curse from Q, however. But the PL just runs himself down to EG, taking out a lot of fierce metal. Now remember, Aggressive does have the full heart for this fight. Last record is going to force it out. The universe! Big jump to get the curse off. There's a control from the universe and Samael. And the hook shot is one from XC. He's going to split the fight up a finger, finding the damage to Samael. Aggressive being put under in the cold embrace. We back up in a moment. Doppelganger, one second, but Song of the Siren. They need Aggressive to die instantly before he's able to Doppelganger. Shiki as well. There's your Doppelganger. Shiki has one chance to survive a little bit longer with winning up the fight. But there goes your PL. Dragonite, the cold feet and the urn charge. They're both taking him out and the cold will push back. He's got enough life to survive, they actually repair it with another Earn Charge. And AUI, now he's not going to keep up with the Dragon. There's Clockwork, oh, the casually and TP. Vortexing XZ back in. A three for one trade off. Dragon Knight, lucky to survive, and he can't even get back. His TP's on cooldown. There's 32 seconds before the DK can TP back to base. He could lose his entire racks in that time. Yeah, he tried to TP out earlier. This should actually be a link. I don't know if EG are aware of this, so they might start moving back if they feel in any bit of pressure, but Fear doesn't care right now. He is definitely up front. Now, the now. male going in deep, chasing after Q. They just need a couple of kills to be TI5 champions with the Wyvern. He down for the card. Fear, fully wicked sick. They're gonna bring in the Zatanic as well for Fear while this push continues. As the tier 3 tower drops DK, only now is he TPing back and he's still gonna regenerate. The melee racks will drop. EG, how much respect do you give? The PL is up in 7 seconds. They're going to rotate themselves over to the tier 3 tower. They do not want to overstay their welcome here, but they may just have the confidence to keep on going with that fresh satanic. Shiki Dragon falling up, gets us on over on fear. They're moving forward with a hot shot. Everything oh, is blast! Perfect on Cena! They keep the battle going! Somehow might be low on mana. We need to keep controlling fear CDC if they want to try and win this game. But fear finds more. He's actually being trapped up the curse, holding him here for now. DK will buy back in the dragon back the clockwork with a vision starter. CDC are running out of heroes. Aggressive wants to come out and find some kind of collateral kills. But EG are turning tail and running for now. Universe is ready to turn. He's got Echo Slam up. He just sees his bling. They're going to come back. A cooldown aggressive. The cooldown. The perfect position. There's your Echo Slam. Aggressive. Locked in position right now. He got embraced up by the window wide. But Fear moving forward as well. The DK about to drop. Aggressive on Soul Survivor. See the EC. It looks troublesome. It looks really, really bad for them. Aggressive on the run. Universe right behind him. They keep running out for GG. Well played. EG.
champions of the international Evil Geniuses.